Snaking. It's one of the most broken and annoying mechanics in Call of Duty history, but in Modern Warfare 2, you pretty much need to do it if you want to compete at the highest levels. As you can see in these examples, pros really like to snake in this game. In previous Call of Duties, it's pretty much been GA and the snaking was pretty minimal for the most part but in Modern Warfare 2, it's pretty much meta. If you don't know what snaking is, in essence, it's just bobbing up and down behind cover, making it incredibly hard for your opponents to hit shots on you and helping you stay alive longer and win more gunfights when you are on a head glitch or in any position where you can bob up and down behind cover. I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can snake in this video. The first one's going to be very, very simple and basic, but it is not the correct way. And this is how I used to do it before I learned and how I've done it in other Call of Duties. And you're pretty much just going to want to crouch and then press the jump button one single time and then you can kind of do this thing where you are snaking for sure and really it's not too bad if you really want to just do it this way and that works for you go for it but the really crazy way to do it is how all of the professionals do it i'm going to give you some settings to make doing it that way a little bit easier so the proper way to snake is by proning or laying down and then sprinting forward like this and now you can see it's starting to look pretty familiar to how the pros do it. But if you wanna do it a lot easier, you wanna open up your settings, go to controller, go to the advanced tab and scroll down until you see tactical sprint behavior. Make sure this is on single tap run. I believe it defaults to double tap. This will just make it to where as soon as you press your sprint button, you are going to just do your tactical sprint forward, which is gonna bring you up out of the snake position, out of the prone and help you snake a lot better. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And if your button layout doesn't allow you to do this very easily with your crouch button and your sprint button, I recommend you check out my ultimate controller guide video where I go over bumper jumper tactical, which is an incredible button layout for anybody looking to improve their movement and become a better overall player. But remember, when you are snaking, you need to make sure you're still fighting so that you don't lose an important 1v1 to Clayster like Brack. Oh! Let's go! He wins it! Let me see that emote.